The most important thing that the father and the mother collectively contribute to the child's upbringing is their loving relationship. When the mother and father, they make a happy home where they love each other, they want to be with each other, they support each other, then it makes the child feel secure and um, emotionally stable and he wants to belong to that home. And when he wants to belong to that home, he wants to grow up Muslim, religious Muslim, inshallah, like the mother and the father. After that, the most important person who plays the role in the upbringing of the child is the mother. Because the mother is the manifestation of the mercy of God on earth. Her mercy is such that she'll give anything for her child. She'll rather that she gets harmed rather than her child gets harmed. There's nothing like the mercy of the mother. And it's through the mercy of the mother that the child learns about the mercy of God. The father um, should try to be like the mother and uh, emulate the mercy that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given her because mercy is the greatest, um, probably the most important and frequently mentioned attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. And as we all know, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, Ar-Rahimun, Yarhamuhum ar-Rahman. Irhamu man fil ard, Yarhamkum man fil sara. Those who have mercy on others, um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mercy on them. This, uh, this attribute of mercy, um, when we as parents manifest it to our children, then the benefit of that returns to us from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.